on YouTube what is happening. It's Battle Box time. March 2024. No idea on the mission number off the top of my head. Kenwu Pulsar is the uh, unboxing knife. Excellent, excellent knife. All right, let's see what we got in here. 109 is the mission. 109. We have some good stuff. We've got some good stuff. Let's start with the basic box. Poison Ivy Wipes. Surprisingly a useful thing in my opinion. If you ever come across Poison Ivy, which if you're in the woods, you just might. And these are a nice thing to have in your um, like first aid kit. Because they're just like these wipes that you open this box up here. Not the best way to do them. But, and then there's a bunch of these wipes. Just put those in your first aid kit. And then some poison ivy. Bam. There you go. Instant relief for that poison ivy. That is a member recommended um, item as well. So pretty cool. Um, something you wouldn't think of buying yourself, right? That's the whole idea of of subscription boxes. Getting some kind of weird shadow here. It's in my light. So yeah. Oh well. Next up is the Rapid Rope Mini. So essentially a rope dispenser um, that comes out the top here. And you've got a um, cut cutter up there at the top. So nice way to store cordage i like it because paracord there's some good options out there in fact we've gotten some good options for paracord storage in a battle box in the past uh, this is pretty compact though i like this oh um, reminds me of like a shoelace um yeah it's not paracord it is what type of cord is this 70 feet of 1100 pound test cord 1100 pounds that should be plenty strong though so and then when you want to cut it you just do this action here wrap it around cut it and you're good to go so useful thing to sort of cordage in pretty compact and small like that too two for two battle box two for two here we have a repeat item got this years a couple of years ago i believe battle box hot snot this stuff works really well for certain fires by the way i've started fires with this in the past and it's so easy because it's literally like a tube of paste that you just smear on a log and you light it and it burns. Um, gosh, inflammable. This is not toothpaste. It's fire lube in a tube. And that's funny. Um, do not use this for other purposes. <laughs> but that is a pretty cool item. So the basic box has some useful camping um, stuff, which is cool. All right. Next up in... Oh, we're still in the basic animal tracking ID. So we got a little theme going on the basic here, camping outdoor stuff. So these are playing cards. Wait, they're not playing cards. They're flashcards of animal tracks. So, okay, let's see if that fixed it. That's some kind of weird blur going on. There we go. Um, they're not they're not playing cards though. <coughs> they are literally show you what animal tracks are. So useful thing to have if you're trying to track animals or you're not sure what type of animal you found or tracked for that'll show you pretty cool basic box so far guys advanced we've got a knife and it's a holtzman's and it's in a giant box like all holtzman's and it's gonna come with i'm sure all the standard holtzman stuff of a fire starter and all that fun stuff yep i was correct so you've got your it's a, it's a neck knife. You got your sheath here with a ferro rod or a striker built into it. That's cool. And you do have a rod here on the side that goes in here. You all know about Holtzman's, you're always going to get a survival style knife. And it's, a, like I said, a neck knife. You also can carry it on your belt though if you wanted to. Now, a weird blade shape for a neck knife. Um, it's Tanto. And Tanto is not really. The type of blade I would take into the wilderness. It's like more of a defensive blade, which I guess you could use this as a as such a tool. Maybe not. Don't need the fire starter necessarily, but you could wear that on your neck, and then if you need to 
you know. Holy, maybe that sheath is tough. Um, pull that out and stabby stabby. It's a little small, but um, pretty good grip if you're doing reverse grip with the Tanto. Um, nice jimping up here. D2 steel. So kind of a fun little neck knife, kind of three finger knife, maybe three and a half fingers for me. Yeah, I'd say three finger. Um, honestly, it's more comfortable in this grip, which is weird, but you wouldn't really ever use in this grip um, as a neck knife because typically a neck knife is going to be like, you know, a survival type blade. So interesting choice of blade shape for this, but nonetheless, you get a cool sheath. You get all the accessories in here including a belt clip if you don't want to carry as a neck knife, and a, your Allen wrench, and some additional cordage. So, yeah, and you got the neck knife thing going on. So, not bad. For the advanced box, we got a knife. Which means there's two knives in this box, because this is a Pro Plus. So that's cool. Let's put that to the side. All right. We got the Pro box and that is going to be this cold koala tree kachula blanket with hood and poncho on. for the sake of the video what is this free bonus gift what in the hell <laughs> it must have came out of the holton's box it's like a belt clip or something um it is a big giant blanket i'm not gonna um, open it because it's so big it's 50 by 72, and it is also can be used as an emergency poncho because it's got a hood and pockets and snaps the whole nine yards. So, really cool. Um, like I said, very large. No stuff sack, which is kind of weird, right? stuck into itself. But I don't believe it does. Maybe for all that plastic. I mean, great, great sound. Oh, my battery's getting low on my phone. I'm gonna hurry this video up. Nice, soft material, though. So, yeah, just throw it in your pack or your camping. I'd see this more of a camping gear thing, more than backpacking or hiking. It's a little big, but... It's a big blanket you can keep around camp. If you need to use a poncho, you got it as a poncho. All right. And that is it for the Pro Box. The last... Oh, yeah, and you can use it as a pillow, too, if you just keep it folded like that. The last item is pretty cool. A Wee Knife Banter. I've owned a few of these. Designed by the great Ben Peterson, who is a local Utah guy like myself. Awesome dude, Ben. I met him a few times when he worked at Blade HQ. Met him since uh, Blade Show West a few times with his new company, NAFS. And this one was his first design, I want to say. I'm 99% sure of that. This is his first design. So this is the Wee Banter. Um, so this is one of the nicer knives that we've gotten in Battle Box in some time. Get all your swag kits stickers, clean cloths, all that fun stuff. You do get a lot of good stuff. You get a nice little pouch, double-sided suede, and we've got a banter in, uh, what kind of wood is this called? Cube, oh, Cuborito wood? That's pretty cool though. Um, yeah, I dig that. It's got a lighter tint. Let me show you what I was gonna compare it to. I have a Savini. It's in, I think, Coca Bolo. So it's a little bit darker wood. So um, this is the Elementum. This was actually a gift from Savivi to the channel. It's got my name, my old um, name on there. I had it for a long time. So the banter is, so it's a much lighter wood. I really like that, actually. That's nice. And I did see a guy use um, some of the wax we got from one of the other. Um, boxes, and then he kind of oiled these up, so kind of curious to try that out, but I really like that wood. That looks really nice. I don't usually love wood handles unless they're like on slip joints, but this is pretty nice. Pretty nice. I like that. So, that's Battle Box this month. Pretty good stuff, guys. Great knife. Neck knife's okay, but you get two knives, which is always a bonus. 
and then all the other stuff's pretty useful. So I'd say overall a pretty good box this month. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.